so there's a whole lot of confusion about uh, how really our astrological charts impact our everyday life and on one side uh, we as human beings claim that we are the creators of our reality and we can manifest any possibility that we desire or we think of then um, what is the relevance of astrology in our life and how should one very intelligently learn to manage our planetary positions so according to the whole blueprint of life our astrological charts are only a, a blueprint of possibilities that may show up based on our past life karmic incompletions uh, which means that uh, for example if uh, in some past life i've had some incomplete relationship with certain people and i've had some incomplete ways of behaving and being maybe in the way i dealt with money maybe in the way i dealt with uh, relationships or my health uh, in this lifetime i will have to pay back for uh, those incomplete things that i've left incomplete without any closure and uh, i will have to learn certain lessons and uh, based on those par- karmic incompletions uh, we choose the date of birth and the time of birth based on the planetary positions uh, which is our birth time and our entire life's blueprint is uh, actually visible in our astrological uh, charts uh, and uh, it is our job with consciousness and with intelligence to outcreate that prediction with by changing our behavior by learning our lessons and by becoming more aware like if i had to give you an analogy the best analogy what i like to quote is let's assume you are on this journey uh, on a highway and even before you uh, start the journey uh, you are told that the 100 km there are going to be uh, many uh, dents on the road and you got to be careful so then you go prepared and uh, by the time you reach the 100 km you slow down and you become more aware and rather than uh, having an accident around those dents on the road you uh, are more cautious you're more careful and you go around them very very carefully by more awareness so our astrological predictions are something like that that we are told that it's so and so timeline in the future there is this planet and this planet is uh coming to teach you a certain lesson and uh, trust me my dear friends if you are willing to learn your lessons and come from a place of consciousness and not ego then you can outright any astrological position any planetary position no planet is here to torture you or threaten you but it's only here to teach you certain unlearned lessons and the lessons are truly about unconditional love forgiveness and being one with all of existence and the universe and being more aware and conscious so if you live your life uh, subconsciously and unconsciously then definitely you could become a victim to all of your astrological positions and uh, if you live your life with awareness and question the planet that what are you trying to teach me what is the lesson for me uh, and uh, you could ri- rewrite your new, new destiny and uh, outcreate the blueprint of your ast- astrological positions now what is the relevance of stones and uh, all the upayas that our astrologers give us now trust me guys these things cannot change our destiny and cannot change our choices but they create a sense of awareness for uh, us so that we could make those right choices in that moment so if stones could change our destinies then i think everybody would have uh, been successful in rewriting our destinies so don't get trapped into the blueprint of astrology because it's only a karmic possibility or a karmic blueprint at every single given moment you have a choice to rewrite that blueprint and rewrite a new future but the thumb rule is you will have to learn your unlearned lessons you will have to understand what this planet that's shining in your birth chart trying to tell you it's teaching you a life lesson and you've come here into life to learn certain lessons you just did not come here to pussy foot around cause damage to each one and to do all the uh, wrong methods of earning money and not taking care of your health so if there's a planet that's saying that okay your health is 
going to deteriorate. Uh, it's only indicating that there's something you need to do to honor your body. There's something you need to do to change your diet pattern, your lifestyle, your exercise. And uh, maybe this, you need to take more care of your physical body, which is the temple of your soul. If the astrological signs and the planets are shining over your money area, it only means that you got to be more mindful about your spending patterns, your earning patterns, and how uh, are you kind with uh, money to other people? Do you pay money on time to other people? Or uh, are you uh, in a hoarding mentality? Uh, and if it's a trigger about your relationships, uh, then it's only indicating that you need to upgrade your behavior. You need to come from a place of kindness, love, compassion, and more consciousness. Uh, your astrological predictions are only a closing balance of your last lifetime. What does that really mean? So uh, when you have a closing balance of one year and on the next year on the same time, uh, your closing balance is different, right? So your closing balance and your opening balance are the same. So anything that was left incomplete in your past life, right, as a closing balance comes as your astrological prediction as an opening balance in this lifetime. And our role here is to change the opening balance to a new possibility, to a new way of being and to upgrade our vibrations. So like, for example, if you died in one lifetime at vibration 100, you will be born at 100 and your astrological predictions and the blueprint will speak all about why, uh, how your life was at 100 frequency. This is just an example. Now, our goal in this lifetime will be to work on ourselves, on our mental, emotional, physical and spiritual aspects. And maybe in this lifetime, uh, my closing balance should not be 100. It should be more than 100, maybe or 200, 300. That depends on how much self-work I have done. And trust me, these planets are here to only guide us. They are not here to scare us or punish us or harm us. There's nothing in the universe that wants to destroy you. Everything in the universe is in total alignment of teaching you your life lessons. And when you're willing to learn the lessons, trust me, that planet, which is on a negative position, your birth sign, actually blesses you and uh, gives you all the positive benefits of the planet. So are you willing to be the creators of your destiny and rewrite a new future for yourself and not become victims to your astrological positions? It's time that you become aware and conscious and actually use it as a strongness and not as a wrongness. It's time to shine, my dear friends. And in this new age uh, that we are heading for, where the fifth dimensional energies are ruling the planet, it's the age of Aquarius, where, uh, you know, we all have a chance to heal our past karmic baggage and to rewrite new destinies. So let's all come out of this victimhood mentality that the planets are here to punish us. We live in a very friendly universe and the universe is here to teach us our lessons. Just be committed to learning your lessons. And remember, there's a lot of love for you on the planet.